name is Drew Cox, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Matter and Form Incorporated. And we make a three-dimensional scanner for the prosumer. So a very simple device that allows you to take a real object and make a three-dimensional file from it that you can use to either print or use it in animation. Great. What are, uh, what are the applications that you're seeing for it already? There's quite a few. Uh, there's obviously 3D printers are, is sort of the, where most people go. You can just replicate an object very easily. To file from our software goes right into uh, your favorite 3D printing software, and what you get back is your model. Um, but on the other side, there's a lot of animators who are interested in using clay to sculpt their uh, their characters, and it gives them a really good starting place to be able to uh, put them into animations. Great. What is the uh, what is the size and the weight of the object? Because it looks like it sits on a Turntable, and I'm assuming that the turntable rotates. How, is the, how does it function? Yeah, so the uh, so the object sits on the, the bed, and you can put an object up to six and a half inches in diameter and about eight inches tall. Um, and then what happens is the bed slowly rotates, and lasers shoot at it, uh, and the camera takes photos. And what we get back is we are able to determine the geometry as it slowly rotates. When it's finished rotating, the head uh, moves up and captures more of the object. And finally, when the scan is done, uh, which can take anywhere from five minutes to 45 minutes, uh, you can um, you can export as an STL, which is like a, a printable file, or OBJ, PLY, or any sort of point cloud format that uh, that we have. Great. What inspired you to create this? We were building 3D printers when they were like kits, uh, very very early on, and um, we just thought it would be really cool to just see if we could build one, a 3D scanner. We thought it was very simple. It was a, it was a webcam, some duct tape, and a laser pointer, and it took, a, it took about a week or two to get a prototype working. And then we went, OK, let's see if the world wants to, to join in. And I didn't actually think anyone would be interested in it, to be honest. I think most people would be interested in 3D printers. But we ended up having the largest Indiegogo campaign outside of the US in history at the time. That's phenomenal. So tell me about production and delivery and where to find it. So it's been, it's been a, about a year now of uh, m making the device and we're producing them finally. <laughs> um, we're actually shipping them in the next two weeks and for, for all of the people that have ordered one so far. And anyone who wants to get one now, they can get one off of our site, matterinform.net, and we'll be shipping those uh, before Christmas this year. Great. And the price point? The price is $579 and it comes with everything including the software. That's great. And again, you said that it'll run, it'll produce a variety of files or a variety of file types that run in major programs from Autodesk and so on and so forth. It does work with every 3D printer, that, in, including Shapeways and, uh, and, and any um, home desktop 3D printer. Uh, you can also export files for AutoCAD for, so you can, uh, and SolidWorks. You can export not, not uh, parasolids, but point clouds. Uh, and then if you're, so if you're a CAD designer, you can work that into your uh, process already. That's great. And what do you think the next step is going to be then? Uh, the next step is going to be pretty exciting. Um, can't say too much, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be um, working with uh, three-dimensional models in a more social in a more social sense, as well as we're going to be uh, building another scanner that's going to be a little better resolution um, at first, and possibly even something that's handheld. So, in the next couple of years. Great. Thanks for your time. Great. Thank you.